So the time of recording this small group session, it is half term in the birdhouse, which means all the kids are at home, which is great. No, really, it's great. They're just so compliant and helpful, always tidying up after themselves. They're just, you know, quietly just reflecting on scripture. What are you doing, Caleb? Hmm. Okay, cool. That TV noise in the background, don't worry about that. In fact, there's probably only one place that I can go in half term if I just want to grab five with you guys at small group. And that is my back garden. So come with me into the back garden. Woo! Where it's raining, brilliant. It's wonderful being British, isn't it? Get out into the garden and uh, get wet. But we need to talk about culture. On Sunday, I spoke about culture. And it was the last part of our Dream Builders series. And really the big idea was this, is that as Christians, we are called to live in a way that is different to the world. We're called to not just carry a different culture, but we're called to create a different culture. Let's just go for a walk because I'm a preacher. And so it seems to make sense that I should walk around and preach at the same time. Um, and in the message, really, my heart was this, is that as dream builders, we would begin to kind of see ourselves as a set apart crew, as a set apart people who, who live beyond our current experience, who stretch beyond our current reality and believe that as we consecrate ourselves and set ourselves apart for God and his glory, that actually we would be used powerfully by him and that actually we wouldn't just assimilate and hide in culture, but that actually we would be like a city on a hill. We would be like the salt, you know, salt and light that Jesus talks about. And um, so tonight at small group, I've kind of prepped some questions that kind of just reflect on Sunday's message somewhat and speak to kind of some of the principles I spoke about, but I just want to cut to the chase is there's one question tonight that I really want us to get into a small group and it's question number five and it's a bit different and it's potentially quite divisive, but let me just add some caveats to it. It doesn't need to be divisive. We can think differently on certain matters. Paul in Romans 14 talks about disputable matters and really the big idea is this, is that not all Christians will agree on things, on behaviours and attitudes. But I think what we need to begin to think about is how do we engage with culture? How are we to understand and process the culture in which we live and the culture in which we work and the culture in which we do family and education and all of these things? And so um, I offer you three R's for consideration. OK, the three R's are this when it comes to different cultural component components is do I receive it as it is like, is this stuff just neutral? Is it not good? Is it not bad? Is it just receivable as a cultural kind of practice or principle? Um, so can I receive it? That's the first R. The second R is should I reject it? Like, is this thing just kind of evil at the core and therefore I shouldn't even engage with it or entertain it? Uh, that's the second R. So should I uh, receive it or should I reject it? And the third R is, can I redeem it? Like, is there a way that actually I can take this principle that can be used for bad, but actually I'm going to use it for the glory of God. I'm going to take this practice and I'm going to use it for the glory of God. And so in question number five tonight, in your kind of study sheets that the leaders have, there's a whole list of things that I just thought, oh, they're quite meaty ideas. Like, how should a Christian engage with the cultural norm of Halloween? Is it something we should receive? Is it something we should reject? Or is it something we can redeem? How should our kind of um, engaging with rom-coms or investments or war, like different principles? And I really want to say tonight, like, use this opportunity to be honest and open and vulnerable don't get offended like we're allowed to have differences of ideas but the most important thing is is that we have an open heart to actually think like maybe we've been thinking about stuff wrong and actually the most important kind of component of tonight's small group study is learning how we as christians don't just go with the flow but making intentional decisions to think actually no we can receive that or no we must reject that or actually there's an opportunity for us to redeem that that's really the crux of tonight it's more practical it's more like a a workshop if you like and so i encourage you have conversation add some other things in there as well but for me question 5 and 7 if I, question 5 and 7 7 is a review of the dream builder series what you've learned what you've been challenged by what's encouraged you uh, maybe what you've disagreed with um yeah, I encourage you. So, like, as you work through the questions, I really suggest that maybe you allocate 45 minutes to question five because it has the potential to just kind of open up. And um, if your small group's anything like mine, those are the 
funnest discussions because um, it allows us to speak to our convictions, which matter. It allows us to speak to our experiences. But I really also want to encourage you to, to not just kind of articulate a view on a cultural norm, but actually to try and undergird your thinking with scripture to actually say, OK, if I if I disagree with war, then why should we reject war as Christians? If I think investments are a good thing and that actually we can redeem them for the glory of God, then why do I think that? What, what does scripture teach me about this? What does my conviction tell me about that? What does my experience say in this matter? So those are the filters tonight, the three R's, receive, reject or redeem. And uh, I just really want to encourage you to just, I guess, have some honest reflection and um, I think it's going to be a great night, providing you kind of stay soft-hearted, open-hearted, don't get offended. Immature people get offended easily uh, because they don't know how to think. They don't know how to process those emotions, but we're not going to be those people. And in the context of dream builders, it's this is, you know, if I am committed to being a dream builder, and maybe you're not, but if I am, how do I begin to intentionally choose the culture that I want to live in? We're not just going to go to church. We're going to be the church and even more importantly, we're going to build the church, which means that when it comes to the worldly culture, we understand kind of what are the things that we engage with in a way that is godly um, and also, I guess, reasonable and rational. Anyways, I hope you have a great night tonight. I think it's going to be a fun conversation. Stay humble, stay blessed. Looking forward to jumping into a new small group series next week. Back into the madhouse. Bye.